Hello and welcome to a tour of my sanctuary build. Um, this is hopefully going to be the final iteration of my sanctuary builds. I've actually gone through and revisited and pretty much redid everything in this settlement um, using some new uh, mods, some new techniques. Um, this may be my final settlement build for Fallout, um, as the demand for Fallout may be falling off, at least Fallout 4, with the release of the new Fallout, of which I personally will not be picking up. Um, I barely have time for single player games, let alone online massive multiplayer games. Um, it seems to be the way the market's going, though. It seems to be where the money is, so who knows what the future of single player Fallout 4 is, or c single player Fallout is. Um, but we'll start here on the bridge. You can see this is the first major uh, redo. Um, if you're familiar with my old sanctuary uh, settlement, it was more of a suspension style bridge. This one is definitely more industrial looking. And then we come in here to uh, what is, I guess, kind of the, the lobby area or the, um, the welcoming area of, of the entire settlement. Got a water fountain over here, kind of a courtyard for the player home. So we'll go check out the player home. Now the player home is probably going to be the most over the top, the most uh, opulently decorated um, house in the settlement. Some of the other ones are pretty nice, but this one I just went over the top with. And um, when I when I go and build this, I I I, um, I chose the. Minuteman faction as as most of you who've seen my previous videos know so I kind of build with Minuteman in mind But in this one, I didn't overdo the Minuteman paraphernalia So if you chose a different faction, it won't be too hard for you to switch it to make it look more like the Institute or the Brotherhood or whatever So this is the kind of the main living area uh, You can see structurally. It's mostly the same. I just changed the decorations the wallpaper um, there's a decor pack uh, that I put in that had a grand piano in it, so I was like, well, heck yeah, I'm going to put that in there. Um, and, of course, you don't have to um, you don't have to have that decor pack to have the settlement. You'll just not get the piano. Uh, I try to build my settlements um, using two or three main packs for the buildings. That way, if all you want is the buildings, all you need is two mods. Um, and then the decor pack is mostly creative clutter. Uh, of course, I'll have a comprehensive list in the mod page. So this is the bedroom, um, which has its own little breakfast table and its own little um, couch sitting seating area. And a bathroom with a golden toilet. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Uh, the gold toilet was the only one I could find when I was building this area, so... Um, yeah, this is like rebuild of my entire mod list and saved game number seven or something like that. I just completely removed all the mods and re-added them and started a game over because the, all the files were corrupt and everything. So yeah, I have a real love hate relationship with this game. I, I, I really hate, <laughs> I hate this game, uh, but I like building settlements, so. I put up with it sometimes but that's that's I mean part of the reason why it's so long between uh, releases of settlements because you know between adulting and having to rebuild my games you know it takes time so this is the primary um, players room as I stated and so the elevator that we came up is one way in and then of course there is another way in or uh, out, depending on how you approach the building. It's kind of a little hallway here. And then just outside of the main player's living area is kind of a private bar. You can see we've got an area to watch some TV, watch some, some sports. Then over here we have the swimming pool. And it's... It's, um, it 
it's a uh, balcony pool, which is ultra cool in my opinion. <laughs> So yeah, when you've had a few too many, you can go out on the on the balcony and try not to fall or drown. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with that button, but if if you have trouble with that button, you can just come over here and push that one. I think maybe I'll see about if it's possible to design a mod that you can just put an elevator call button on the outside of the wall, and it'll call the elevator to what floor you're on. We'll see. Or if you are a mod author and and that sounds like something that you can do, um, that'd be pretty cool. So here we continue on through the courtyard, and uh, this is this area is kind of the I don't know I guess the upper class, the upper crust area of the settlement. So of course the bar here is is very well decorated and so you come upstairs and you've got a bar and some reading area some nice leather couch to smoke some cigars on and then we'll head out through the back door here got a nice little picnic area fountain um, those houses pretty much are unchanged from any of the other builds. I haven't really touched them, uh, so I won't tour them here. If you are interested in seeing what's in those houses, uh, before you download this mod, you can go watch the other videos that I've released for Sanctuary. Um, but I'm going to assume that you've seen them before, or you can wait till you download and install the mod, or you don't care either way. So we'll head by the church here and we'll check out, this is kind of the um, more every everyday man's pub here. Got some brewskis on tap. Got a restaurant upstairs. We can see some cool lounging over there darts uh, just the office I guess <laughs> for the bar yay closet although there may be something there may be something extra in there Ooh, you'll have to download the mod to find out yeah I'm gonna put some surprises in there for you okay so here's kind of the I call it the Washington Monument, even though it's not the Washington Monument. It, it it's a, it's kind of like the Lincoln Monument meets the Washington Monument, I guess. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, here's kind of the the center of all of the entertainment activities that go on in Sanctuary. Um, this is kind of the club area, so we got like a like a dance floor down here, or or a band could set up and, and play. Um. And then up here is going to be a more lounge area. You've got a bar and an area to hang out. Of course, we got the balcony. I like me some balconies. I build a lot of them. <laughs> and we'll come upstairs to the third floor, and we have a small restaurant that's some uh, advertisements for cigars and whiskey which of course are served here and then we've got a small living area over here I just put a bed in here um, I mean every room needs a bed but not every room has uh, full decorations so um, because I kind of wanted it to stay open to see, you know, if you wanted to add your own style of decorations, you know, I'll save you some time. That way you don't have to delete all my stuff. 
So we'll head up here to the roof. Got roof access over here. Uh, first thing we'll check out. Let's um, let's head over to this room over here. I probably should have put a wood door there, but uh, this is just another bedroom, a little bit bigger than the one downstairs. Um, but you know, it's on a higher floor, so of course it's nicer. The the higher you go, and the the, the nicer the rooms get. <laughs> And let's go check out the roof. See what's up there. Up here is our main pool and lounge area. Got some nice views while you go swimming. A barbecue pit. Oh yeah, it's a happening place up here. Uh, I'll take a long trip back down now. I I, I compulsively close every door. I, I, I don't have to, but it just bugs me when I come across open doors, which is why I don't currently have any settlers walking around. Because <laughs> I didn't want, I didn't want a bunch of doors open. I think Cogsworth is here somewhere, but I haven't. I haven't gone and gotten Preston and, and his entourage yet, so there shouldn't be any open doors. Hopefully. Uh, and, you know, as I say that, I come across some open doors. I'll blame it on Cogsworth. I think he did it. Uh, this is the livestock area. So um, out here is where, I guess, the um, cows, Brahmin, will do the majority of their grazing. And then when we want to bring them in for our purposes, whatever they are, be, be they using them as pack mules or using them as hamburgers, uh, we, can, <laughs> we can bring them in here. Uh, and then, of course, we've got a smaller pasture out here if we're using them as pack mules. And this is where we kind of station and keep them. But, yeah. So out, out there is the pasture. Uh, and then, of course, the greenhouse. Um, where crops are grown. Yeah, basic greenhouse. It's pretty big, so you can grow a lot of crops in there. And I figure that the primary tender of said crops would live here. Um, kind of a short walk to work. And then this is the hospital, which I have shown before. So I won't take a lot of time showing it. We'll just peek inside and see the, um, this is the lobby area. And there are rooms with hospital beds in them. Uh, and, uh, I think they're, they work as surgery chairs too. Um, but there is a, there's another clinic here where you can also get surgery. So, uh, just another living area for nice houses. And I kind of changed this area, if you're familiar with the other build. Like I said, I pretty much changed everything, at least cosmetically. Um, so I put an elevator here instead of um, stairs. I don't know if it's an improvement. I, I think it looks a little bit better, but yeah. you're not, you're probably not going to come down here. <laughs> Let's be honest. I, this This area is probably not an area that you'll come visit a lot. But it is here, um, because I guess I'm a completionist and I needed a way to have some sort of um, shipping lanes with water, uh, fishing and, and uh, you know, scrap retrieval, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we will continue on our tour. We got, you know, 
more houses here. Um, nice houses on the river. And then down here we have kind of smaller uh, houses, either for, you know, single dudes or people who have some kind of job to, like, maybe, I don't know, keep a lookout or go fishing or whatever. And they want to live close to where they work. <laughs> So, kind of the same thing here, only even smaller. But so cute and cozy. Uh, kind of a park area. Some water decorations. I do like my fountains. I do like fountains. There's really, I mean, there's only so much you can actually decorate with in this game, so. <laughs> it's like, uh. I feel like I've put 30 fountains in this settlement. Uh, so here's one of the stores. So we're getting kind of into the commerce area. This is a general store, you know, your trader stuff. So. Just a small sample of their wares. This is going to be the clothing store. You come in here and they have nice clothes. Yay. And again, I'll, I'll list all the decor packs that I have uh, used on this supplement. So you can decide whether or not you want this stuff or not. Uh, armor store. And then over here is going to be the gun store. Very important store to have in this game. Oh yeah. All sorts of guns <laughs> all right and then in here is kind of like the office because you know you know every gun store needs an office and the entire point of the office is to hide the whatever the other business is that's going on there so in this case oh look at that a secret door oh i wonder where this goes i always I push the wrong button my aim sucks so. so we got kind of a nice underground area here. Um, so basically this is kind of, in my game, this would be the general's personal uh, armory slash control room uh, where he would he would run things. And uh, As you can see, I have no guns on the wall right now because this is a new game. I have not done anything yet. First thing I did was import the settlement and start tweaking. Because as I stated earlier, this is probably the seventh time I've had to reconstruct my game. There are several ways down there. Um, that's not the only way in. There's uh, the elevator that takes you up to the apartment that I showed you first. Uh, when you go down, it goes down into that area. And there's also a secret door in like the gardening shed. Um, next to the main player's mansion. Uh, here's the other clinic. Oh, well, actually, I guess we're going to go into... Let's go into the barber shop first. Got a... Got a nice uh, barber shop here and a... Gentlemanly-looking fellow there on the wall for haircut inspiration. So you can go in and say, Yes, I would like mutton chops because they're back in style in 2077 or whatever this year is. That's the clinic. That's where you can go change whatever else you don't like about you. And over here is another bar. Uh, I kind of wanted to make this one look like something you'd find in in uh, Ireland or, or England. Uh, kind of a old looking pub. Um, 
I don't know. I just really like the steam brick set and I wanted to turn it into something interesting. And then here's like the outdoor seating area um, with a Meyer Lurk being cooked. So over here is the more industrial side of Sanctuary. Um, I added a parking garage because in my version of Sanctuary, before the war, there was a parking garage because why not? This is my building and I can do whatever I want. So you drive up here and the dude in here would check for your parking pass or whatever and be like, oh yeah, go ahead. And uh, mainly I just wanted a, a, a neat way to kind of occupy space in this corner. Um, so I put this parking garage here. Uh, here's the back side of the power plant. Uh, the water treatment plant is right here. The main work shed where we have storage as well as some workbenches. Um, this is the same shed from the um, original sanctuary build that I did. However, I flipped it around to make it face the industrial side of, of the settlement. Now let's go check out the the power plant. Uh, I think I've showed off the power plant's office before, but it's up. It's up there. Um, you can take the elevator up, and you'll you'll wind up in the in the main office up, upstairs. Uh, so here's where we get our water. So we've got the water pump here. Uh, I think this thing supplies like 75 water or something ridiculous like that. So. Um, but I mean, it's a pretty, pretty hefty looking water treatment plant. Um, so we'll head on over here. And I think I've just got one, one more area to go. I kind of like this, um, this view here of the, uh, the main steps to kind of get from the industrial slash shopping area up into the more residential area. Um, so I think We'll head all the way back over here. So uh, there's the church again. Um, and the, those archways that I was able to build custom. So again, I, I, I build these settlements with the idea that you will have a faction. Uh, be it Minuteman or Institute or Brotherhood. You may decide to keep some of their armed personnel in your settlement if that's the case they can live here they have their own separate area where they don't have to be you don't necessarily want armed troops walking around your really nice settlement so <laughs> but you do want them close by so uh, this is the this is the kind of the kitchen area the armory and the supply sergeant will sleep down here. Another golden toilet. Kind of a workout area. And then over here is going to be the main barracks. So you can put your foot soldiers in here. And then what I was thinking for this is this is going to be the administrator's office slash room. Uh, so what I was going to do is assign, is put a bed in there and assign it to Preston Harvey. <laughs> and he can stay in there. Uh, the furthest, deepest point of the settlement, that's where you'll find Preston. Um, so... Hide him, hide him away nice and good. So, and I think that's pretty much it uh, for the settlement. Um, there are a couple of additional hidden items that I did not show you, but um, I can tell you if you're interested in downloading it, the there's a hidden room in this pub in the office, um, and uh, the hospital has a basement. There's nothing in there, but the hospital does have a basement, and so does the church. Um, so if you want to utilize those spaces, they're there. 
Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you for the download. Uh, as always, uh, likes and subscriptions do help. Um, and if you feel so inclined to do so, uh, you can please endorse on the Nexus. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.